everyone, Effie here. Today I'm going to show you how I made this card using our brushed happy stamp set, the coordinating die, our fresh cut peonies, and fresh cut poppy stamp sets. So first off, I'm going to stamp the first layer of this large peony in our ballet slippers die ink, and then for the rest of the layers, I'm going to use my Misty tool to help me position the rest of the layers. So for the top peony, I'm going to stamp the three layers in our traditional peony collection uh, couture inks. For that second peony on the bottom, I'm going to go a little darker and I'm going to use the Cosmopolitan Pink Hybrid Ink and Lipstick Red Dye Inks for the second and third layers to get a more darker kind of raspberry hue to that peony. Because I want there to be a little bit of variation with our peony clusters today. After I finish stamping these two large blossoms, I'm going to go ahead and stamp the rest of my peonies in our Peony Collection Couture inks, which is our pink inks. So I don't need a Misty tool to help me uh, position this particular peony. You just have to line up that bottom edge. This peony is actually very, very easy to stamp. This stamp set does come with a color printed layering guide. So if you're having trouble lining things up, just refer to the color printed guide that comes with the set. So for the green inks that I'm using today, I'm using our Soft Garden and Bright Fern and Basil Mojito dye inks today. And this is a lovely collection of greens. After I finish stamping the greens here, I'm going to stamp this blossom from our Fresh Cut Poppy set in our Hollywood Star dye ink, Cosmopolitan Hybrid ink, and Lipstick Red dye inks. Next, I'm going to stamp some additional leaves from our Fresh Cut Poppy set, and I'm stamping this in the same greens that I stamped the uh, leaves earlier, which is our Soft Garden, Bright Fern, and I think I'm using a Basil Mojito for the third layer here because I wanted there to be a little bit more definition to our leaves today. Once I finish stamping, I'm going to die cut everything using the coordinating dies. However, for our fresh cut poppies, the coordinating dies are not yet available, but they will be released in about a couple of weeks. So make sure you're following our Instagram and Facebook feeds so that uh, you can get all the latest updates on new releases. Next, I have some navy cardstock, which I've already cut down to uh, an A2 size panel. And I'm just going to take the largest die from our double stitch rectangles large set and the fourth largest die from our double stitch rectangle small set. And I'm going to create a stitched border uh, with a window for this panel. I'm going to set this border aside and then I'm just going to go ahead and rose gold heat emboss our brushed happy sentiment. And I'm just heat embossing this on some regular white cardstock. I'm using my Mini Misty to help me stamp this large sentiment stamp. I inked it up with some Brutus Monroe embossing ink and then I just spooned on some of our rose gold embossing powder and then I'm just going to hit the entire panel with my heat tool. After I finish heat embossing, I'm just going to die cut the sentiment using the coordinating die that came out a couple weeks ago. And what's great about this coordinating die is that it doesn't have a solid center so you can see exactly where you're die cutting. All of the brush sentiment sentiment coordinating dies come like this so it's very easy to die cut everything it, you can see where you're die cutting because it has that open center. Next I'm just going to make some marks onto a top folding A2 card base uh, using my border panel as a guide and then I'm going to cut out a piece of blue glitter adhesive paper for that window. Then I'm going to pop up that border with some adhesive and this is dimensional foam adhesive so this is going to add a little bit of interest to my card. Now I'm just going to begin my floral arrangements and the way I do this is I just add one tiny piece of foam tape to the center of my florals and the foliage and then I kind of just stick them in place wherever uh, they need to go and then at the end when I finish arranging them I'll just add additional foam tape for additional support but I just make sure that I put one right in the center, one tiny one in the center, and then this will allow you to add the leaves and foliage around the flowers a little bit more easily than if you used a large piece of foam tape uh, to start with. For today's card, I took a break from watercoloring. I've been doing a lot of coloring in the last few weeks with um, our poppy sets, but I just wanted to give the watercoloring a break and just do some straight up stamping today. And I really love to do my stamping uh, with our layered sets. 
especially the peony sets because it's one of the first sets that I released and it still holds a very special place in my heart. So once I finished arranging my florals, I just adhered the large brushed happy down onto my card base and then I'm going to heat emboss this the rest of the sentiment and this is from the brushed happy set and I'm going to heat emboss it using the same rose gold embossing powder that I used for the happy and then I'm going to fussy cut this out and just pop it up right under my happy sentiment. For the left side of this tiny sentiment I'm using one layer of foam tape but you can see that the end of the engagement goes off right onto the window so I need a double layer of foam tape for that portion because I want to make sure that this doesn't flap around after I send it. For the last step, I'm going to embellish my card using our seven and five millimeter clear dew drops. And the card is now complete. I hope you guys enjoyed today's stamping video. I really enjoyed the look of this card. I kind of channeled my inner Emily here. She's one of my wonderful design team members and the style of this card really reminded me of her. So that is all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I'll see you next time.